Hey everyone, well welcome to my YouTube channel. I've got another video today. I've got to do a little bit of setup, but before I get started, I just wanted to um, give a shout out to a great company called Kickass. Now they're on the back of my FJ here. I've had that sign up for ages. I've even got a couple of stickers down the side of the FJ as well, advertising them. But uh, the reason I want to mention them and give them a shout out is because you might have heard me talking about a camping event we have coming up in August, uh, 9th, 10th, and 11th of August at Gumbara Valley Campground. And uh, we're raising money for two great charities, RSAQ Lifelight, which is on my shoulder, and Ark Animal Rescue, which is somewhere down my belly down here on the, around the campfire there. And uh, yeah, get a good close up of my belly button, Terry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got old Terry behind the camera here helping me out. G'day guys, I hope you're all well. <laughs> but uh, I just thought I'd uh, give a shout out to uh, Kick-Ass because uh, they've recently just come on board to help us out with uh, raising funds for the uh, Legends for Charity event. As you know, we're trying to raise as much money as we can to help these two wonderful charities, charities out, and we're already off to a great start. So if you follow us on our social media, you'll know where we're up with that. I won't mention it on here, but uh, get onto Facebook, get onto our um, you, uh, website and have a look there, and you'll be able to check out all the things that are going on. But uh, Kick-Ass have sort of come on a little bit later uh, to help us out. Uh, Rob from Australian Camping and 4-Wheel Drives, he actually works for Kick-Ass now. And he got talking to the guys at Kick-Ass and explained to them what we're doing. And uh, they were really enthusiastic and wanted to uh, get in and help us out. So cheers, guys. Uh, we are in the processes right now of getting your logo put on onto our long sleeve shirt. I've got the short sleeve shirt on. It's only got uh, our mugs our YouTube channels all on the back, all the organising guys, Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drives, uh, Phil's Camping Reviews and Handcrafted by Terry G and obviously my channel. So yeah, Terry's giving himself a plug there. But uh, the long sleeve shirt that's in the blue shirt or the sunset shirt, I'll put the photos up on the screen there so you can have a look. They've got all the sponsors logos all over them. We used the long sleeve one because we can fit more on there. We sort of kept this shirt just pretty plain. But uh, everyone will probably want the long sleeve shirt at uh, about that time of year anyway, because it's getting really cold. It was like seven degrees here this morning in Kingaroy. And I know Terry was probably feeling the cold a bit here this morning. Yeah. It's beautiful right now. It's absolutely uh, really warm. But um, I'm going to shoot a video today and I've got to do a bit of setup first. And uh, it's actually on a kick-ass product. It was a review i done a few weeks back with uh, Rob from Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drives. I have got a video about that, but I just wanted to give you an update on it. So I might change my hat and, uh, put, and give old Brett from SMG a plug because that's where you get the shirts. And uh, when the new shirt comes out with the um, Kick-Ass logo on there, we'll um, have it on our social media so you can check it out and you'll be able to order it. So Brett said um, as soon as uh, all the, any new orders come in now, he's um, going to try and make sure the new logo is on the shirt. He should have the um, photo of it out for us soon so we can share it with everyone. So, you know, thanks very much, Kick-Ass. Uh, we're really looking forward to catching up with everyone at the event. I'm sure everyone will be glad to see you guys there. I have been to another camping event and Clayton and all, all the team were there. It was an absolutely ripper of a weekend. They uh, were absolutely fantastic to deal with. So, cheers, guys. Make sure you get onto Kick-Ass's website, get onto their uh, Facebook and social media. They have some fantastic products. I'm only showcasing one of them today. If you're building electrical systems in four-wheel drives, cooking stuff, any sort of gear, they have it. So cheers, guys. Thanks very much. And uh, let's get into the video, eh? I better go get set up. See you, Terry. Bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Well, you might be wondering why I'm sitting on the tail guard of the FJ underneath my awning and... Uh, I've got the door open and I'm drinking a coffee now. It is in a Macca's coffee cup. If you watch my video on the electrical system on my four-wheel drive, you'll know why I'm drinking it out of this. I actually left my coffee cup at home. But uh, today's video is going to be a little bit of a product uh, spotlight. I did a video on this uh, a few weeks ago with Rob Richmond. I was out camping with him and we were lucky enough to uh, get an early... Uh, test of a new product that Kick-Ass has got out and it's a new uh, hot plate and it's in this little uh, bag behind me here. I've got the box behind me here because I've only just opened it up and uh, there's the box there. I'll 
put it a little bit closer into the camera there so you can have a look at it. So starting power is 750 watts, rated power is 600 watts. Uh, product dimensions 333 by 233 by 55 high. It weighs 1.8 kilos. Um, temperature range is 36.5 to 240 degrees Celsius. You can cook all sorts of things on it. Eggs, burgers, anything you can cook on a hot plate you can cook on this. And uh, I reckon it's going to be an absolute asset when we're travelling. Um, like I said, it's 240 volts. It doesn't use a lot of power. So when we get our caravan, if we've got a battery system in that as well, we'll be able to use it in the battery system on our caravan as well as in the four-wheel drive. Now, I've got all my gear set up on the back here. I've got a tiny little table here that I've just set up on the back here just to throw my coffee cup when I don't want to hold it and uh, I've got my burger, a little uh, preparation table. And over here, I've got the other little table that I made a few weeks ago. I showed you how I made this and it's going to fit perfectly with this uh, little uh, hot plate. I didn't realize at the time that they were bringing this out and it actually fits perfectly on here. I'm going to unzip it now and uh, show you what's inside. So it comes in this great little bag, uh, absolutely fantastic. I showed it on the uh, video. I don't know, I think this is, uh, comes with it all the time, but uh, great little bag. It's got a little Velcro handle on the top there. Keep the handles together so it's sewn on so you can't lose it. And uh, unzip it, everything will be wrapped up in here because I haven't used it before, but everything that you need is inside there so we'll pull everything out and uh, we'll get it set up and then I'll show you what it all looks like. Eh? Cheers everyone. Okay I've got it all set up over here. Didn't take long at all. It's on the table. What I'll do is I'll bring you a little bit closer and uh, we'll get in and show you what all the components are and how it looks again. Eh? Just to refresh your memory. Cheers. Okay everyone, I've brought you a little bit closer so you can have a little bit better of a look. Okay, here it is here, sits on this little table absolutely perfectly. I never thought when I made this that this would fit on here so great. Got all my patches on the back there. I'll just have to make sure we don't cover them in fat. I might take them off and uh, we'll see how much fat comes off these burgers. But uh, remember this thing here just all clips together. I haven't got the power turned on yet, but those legs just, um, they're magnetic and they just clip on the back. Same with the little power part there, you can see there, it just uh, clips on the back of this thing. Just gotta hold your tongue right and get it in the right spot. But uh, they do stay on there once you uh, have them clipped in properly so you don't have to worry about them coming out. But uh, I've got the cord running to there and over to my new power board. Check out my electrical system, you'll know all about that. So let's switch it on. Now you can hear that beep, the red light's on. Now how you turn this thing on, you hold your finger down on the red button, it comes up and you select the power level you want. So you can take it down, or you can take it up. We'll leave it on 240, and uh, what I might even do is I'll turn my phone on, and we'll see how much power is uh, coming out of this thing. Eh? I'll just get into the app on my phone so we can have a look. Here we go, I'll hold that up there. So, 61.9 amps are coming out. How good is that? So that's roughly about what they say, about 600 watts. So, just dropped down to 527. But uh, this heats up really quickly, this hot plate. So, absolutely fantastic. Great for using in the back of the car. So check out my video, I've got a 200 amp hour lithium battery in my car a 2000 watt inverter, but you don't need one that big. Anything over 700 watts uh, will run this. So if you've only got a little uh, six or 700 watt inverter, you should be able to run this, no troubles at all. I can feel the heat coming off that hot plate already. So I'm gonna get my burger put on there and uh, just show you how long this takes to cook, eh? So 54.5 amps are only coming out at the moment. So I'll set this camera up uh, so we get a bit better look at it. And we'll get this burger cooking, eh? Jeez. Okay, let's get into it. So, I got my burger inside this little plastic bag. These little plastic bags are actually great if you're actually traveling. So, listen to that. This has only literally been going for about like a minute and a half. And listen to that sizzle. So, this isn't going to take long at all to cook up. So, imagine if you're traveling and uh, you didn't want to stop at 
Maccas or Hungry Jacks or anything like that, you could just pull up on the side of the road, pull out your awning and uh, put your hot plate on the back of the car like this if you've got a good system in your car or even in your caravan and have a cook up. Everyone will be envious of you. I think these things are absolutely fantastic. I've also got a uh, some bacon in a little bag here as well so we might uh, throw a couple of pieces of bacon on. They won't take as long. Now someone said can you put an egg on here? You could. What you want to do is, uh, it's got like a little raised bit in the centre but the ridges aren't that high on it so if you put your little egg ring in the centre there and uh, put your egg in the centre you'll have no trouble at all cooking an egg. Now this thing has got a non-stick uh, pan on it. I'm going to duck around and throw this stuff back in the fridge. So it is really easy to wipe off. You can watch that sizzle away while I walk around in my fridge and throw that back in there. Lucky I tied this awning down because the pole just blew down on me. But that's only been on there for a few minutes. I'll tilt this camera up just a fraction higher so that you can see my dial. But I've got a pair of tongs here. How good is it? I've got this uh, crazy dog little um, carpet grabber bag over here and I've got some paper towel, I've got some tongs, all sorts of stuff in there uh, just to make life easier when we're traveling. So I'll turn me bacon over and uh, I'll get me hamburger and flip it over. That's, um, look at that, look at that. That meat is just sliding off that hot plate. I must admit my uh, car is not actually level here, so lucky I'm not cooking an egg, it'd probably roll off. I'd probably have to put something underneath the legs there. And uh, Now I'll put my hand underneath there. I've got my hand underneath that. There's not a lot of heat coming out of the bottom of that, guys. So it's pretty safe to sit on uh, like a cooking bench or something like this and uh, cook away. Remember there's 240 degrees pumping through this and only 524 watts. So I've got a hash brown too that I um, trucked in my travel buddy earlier. It's been off for about half an hour. I'll go grab that. We'll just throw that on the hot plate too and heat that up as well. And uh, I reckon Bob's your uncle, we're gonna have a great little meal here. Absolutely fantastic. I don't know whether I remembered to bring the barbecue sauce. Who likes uh, sauce on their um, burgers and that? I thought I did grab some, but I probably left it at home in my mad rush to get out the door. But a uh, bit of bacon, a bit of meat, and a uh, bit of hash brown, and a breakfast burger, because it's only, it's only just in the morning, so I don't know where my burger went. I'm just wondering where the bird flew over here when I wasn't watching and stole it. Or did I throw it back in the car by mistake? Found me burger. I put it back in the fridge when I put the bacon in there. So I've got me burger roll here. I've got a bit of cheese on it. I'll probably uh, sit that on the hot plate as well and just warm that up a little bit. But uh, absolutely fantastic. So what I'll do is I won't bore you because I reckon this is probably going to take another 10 minutes what I might do is though while that's cooking away I'll just show you my setup here right eh? so I've got the four-wheel drive uh, just set up in this park down in Kingaroy got me a new Sony camera there absolutely amazing this bloody thing uh, that's what I recorded the opening scene on and uh, I'm just using the little DJI while I'm walking around so I've got my awning out I had to put a if you would have watched my previous video I put a little strap tied around here and uh, just got a couple of little um, ratchet straps that I keep in the back of the car there and I just tie it down onto the back of the car. If you want to stop your awning from blowing up that's a good way to do it if you're um, traveling around but had a couple of bit of showers of rain but uh, great little spot here. There's a little uh, little creek over there in the middle of Kingaroy. If you're ever coming through Kingaroy this is a great little park to stop off at. Over there is the peanut van. There's some toilets, a dump point over there if you want to stop off. But uh, I just thought I'd come down here and uh, shoot this little bit of a video and uh, show you how this little uh, kick house appliance goes. There's the box there again. 
have a look at that. Does it look like the picture? The pictures never look like um, what they do when they cook them, but I think that does, doesn't it? Like you go to fast food restaurants and they show the burger on the screen. I tell you what, it never looks like what it does when you actually get it in reality. So it says on there 240 in just two minutes, and I tell you what, it did get up to heat pretty quick. So I'll come back in a minute and uh, I'll show you the burger all cooked up and then we'll finish off, eh? Cheers, everyone. Stop. Hi, everyone. Well, I've got the burger all eaten. If you're watching this little bit here right now, I'll put the video footage up in the top corner of me eating the burger and taking it off the barbecue because uh, what happened was my uh, mic switched off on me. I didn't realise they had a timer on them. I'm recording away, munching on the burger, and, yeah, like uh, and uh, it didn't record any of the sound. But uh, hopefully I've got the footage up on the screen there and you're watching it. Doesn't it look absolutely amazing? It turned out really well. Why would you go to one of those fast food restaurants when you can have something like that? Well, it, well, it wouldn't take long to set up on the side of the road if that's what you wanted to do, or in a park or something like this. But absolutely fantastic. So... That's about it uh, for this video. I've got it all packed up now and uh, got it back in the bag. Absolutely fantastic. Someone did ask me a little bit of a question though. Uh, how big is it again? Uh, it's two, uh, 333 by 233, 55 high. It's a little bit bigger than an A4 size of paper, but you would fit six to eight burgers of that size, what I just showed you there a second ago on this, no worries at all. So you'd feed a family of four, it's going to be absolutely fantastic for me and Annie when we're traveling. And uh, if we want to pull up, because you don't want to be stopping at those uh, sort of restaurants all the time or anything like that. You'd rather be pulling up somewhere quiet in a park, except for the Corellas flying over all the time. Every time I try and do a video, one of those bloody things or a, a bunch of them fly over the top of the car and annoy me when I'm trying to cook a, do a shoot a video or something like that. But uh, I'm really impressed with the uh, kick-ass hot plate. I thought I'd show you another video, show you me using it actually myself uh, on the back of the car because uh, the one I did with video, it was only a demo model we got and Rob and I were trying to shoot a video at the same time but I thought I would do a cook-up on my own and uh, cook something a little bit bigger. So absolutely um, really impressed with it. It's been fantastic and uh, really looking forward to uh, taking on our travels in our new caravan or in the back of the FJ here like I have been because if you've got a power system like uh, I've got with 200 amp hours of lithium a 2000 watt inverter like I said though you don't need a 2000 watt inverter anything around 700 to 750 uh, will run this no worries at all uh, so if you're after a really convenient and uh, compact uh, fry pan absolutely fantastic i mean any of the fry pans you, that you're going to buy cheaper from a um, supermarket or something like that they're going to run on 2400 watts this thing only runs on 600 watts so that's the uh, main reason why i got it the low wattage that it uses and it still gets up to 240 degrees or as low as 35 degrees so you can cook pancakes on it you could probably put a, uh, when I say cooked pancakes, it's got that uh, non-slip surface on it. I'll put a bit of a video up of me now just cleaning it. And you can see how easy it is. All I'm doing is with a uh, paper towel, just wiping it all over, getting all the uh, grease and grime off. And then uh, you can pack it back away. It didn't take long to cool down. By the time I'd ate my burger, uh, it was ready to wipe down and uh, pack back away. And then uh, you can shut everything up and get back in the car again. So... Thanks to Kickass for coming out with another great product. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks to Rob for initially showing it to me. It was great going away and camping with him and uh, testing this out. Uh, that's what they do. They uh, test all their products out and uh, make sure they're uh, A1 and uh, fantastic to use. So thanks very much for watching. If you've got any more questions, queries or comments, leave them down below. If you like the video, please uh, hit the like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps my channel out. Stay safe, look after each other, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, everyone. I better get this camera away. It's starting to rain again. Bye.
looking for the man every night and day. But I never saw him get inside of the city until I used to ride on the river for Queen. Well, I think we all keep on turning. Proud Mary, keep on burning. Rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. I bet you're gonna find some people like to live. You don't have to worry. Tonight there was lots of meat for free, so big whales keep on turning. Mr. Buckaroo's videos keep on burning. Oh, 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 oh. You come down to the camp out. Bet we're gonna party. We're gonna bring our honey. People better live well. Big wheels walk. Keep on turning. Proud Mary. Keep on burning. Whoa.